Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Ricky Doshi and I'm an architect and interior designer based out of Mumbai. Moving ahead, today's topic is how to make a lighting plan. In this video, I shall cover how to calculate lighting wattage, how to give lighting points per room and how to loop those lights on the existing switchboards. We have all been through this confusion about how much lighting is sufficient for a particular room so that we can avoid darkness as well as over brightness. To understand this, we need to first understand what does wattage mean. Wattage is an amount of electrical power expressed in watts. Watt is a general unit used to measure electrical power. As per thumb rule by the electrical consultants, a power of 2 watt per square feet is deemed as comfortable lighting for the given space. Keeping this as the benchmark, we architects design the lighting systems accordingly for the residential interior projects. The calculation is pretty simple. If your house is 1000 square feet in carpet area, you multiply 1000 into 2 watts, that is 2000 watts of lighting power is required for your house. This can be further divided into different rooms, toilets or passage areas to calculate the lighting that is required for each particular area. This step is very important as we get first-hand information about how much electrical load is required for your home, based on which the electrical meter load is calculated. Let's discuss the location of lighting points using this as a reference plan. As you can see, the lighting point position is given taking into consideration the four corners of the room. The design of the lights is such that the room will always be properly lit and no dark patches will be created. There are basically two types of light points. The first is a primary point and the second is a secondary point. The primary point is where the main control point wire gets further divided into multiple secondary points. Do not confuse yourself with the light points given to the actual position of the lights. This step is to basically give the electrician a reference of wiring as to where the points need to be provided. The actual ceiling plan with the light points can be created at a later stage to give an ambient atmosphere. In this design, I've provided light points for direct lighting as well as indirect cove lighting. I've also provided a point for a fan as in Indian households, we always prefer to have a fan. In one of my previous videos called Electrical Conducting, we have discussed about how to give the position and the heights of switchboards. In case you haven't seen the video, I'll share a link in the description box below. Once the light points are fixed, we need to loop these points to the switchboard for their operation. As you can see in this reference plan, I've shown dotted curves to indicate the looping of the light points to the switchboard. The dark blue colored loops indicate primary points, whereas the lighter blue colored loops indicate the secondary points. As you can see from the plan, that a single point is looped to different points, which means that a single wire can be used to control as many as three to four light fittings. This saves on electrical wiring cost and also helps in reducing the number of switches that are to be provided in a switchboard. I hope this video helped you understand how to calculate the wattage of your house, what parameters are required or need to be considered while designing the lighting plan and how you can loop the different light points to the switchboard. If you liked what you saw, please click the thumbs up and do share this video with your friends, families and acquaintances. It helps me to reach out to a larger audience. If you haven't already done so, do subscribe to my channel and please click on the bell icon so that you get a notification whenever I post a new video on YouTube. Thank you all for supporting this channel and stay tuned for the forthcoming videos.